Welcome to my channel and this is one of the video one of my subscriber has requested and they wanted to see how can we add and retrieve an image from the SQL compact edition not the SQL actually right actually you know there is not much of the difference when it comes to the code while adding you know the image in SQL or SQL compact the syntax is a bit here and there so let's <coughs> jump into the demo and let's see what can we do so I'm in Visual Studio. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in Visual Studio 2012, and I have a simple form where you can see I'm adding an image and I'm getting an image by an ID, right? <coughs> so when I'm adding an image, what I'm saying is I'm giving a user a prompt, a dialog where user can select an image and hit OK, and at the very same time he will put in the title the person is something something, and in the end I will get a prompt that okay your image has been added successfully next I will you know if I want to get the image by ID I'll put in the ID over here and it will bring the image back into this picture box right so let's see the demo I'm going to run this thing and I'm going to say okay this guy is going to be a spider-man right and let's add an image so spider-man looks like something like this so let's do that and you can see the image has been added successfully but as usual you're not going to believe me right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the server explorer and this is my database and this is my table where you can see I have ID which is auto incrementing this is my image which is actually what we have just added and the title which you can see over here so recently we have just added the spider-man so let's have a look do we have the spider-man yes we do and we know the spider-man exists on number 8 so let's check if the spider-man exists so I am going to put number 8 in here and I'm going to put this guy up so that we can see how the spider-man looks like exactly he looks good so basically what we have achieved is like we can add the data I mean no I'm sorry the image into the database at the very same time we can retrieve the image over here I'm using the ID you can do your plus and minus as per your need but the bottom line is it's pretty simple the thing is people not aware of how to do it so let's do that right <coughs> next thing I would like to see okay so what is SQL compact edition okay if you are talking about SQL server the management studio the big one and the compact edition the difference is the big daddy has more capacity you know to store the data and the compact edition is generally used for you know small scale businesses so the compact edition is recommended now the question is how do I find the compact edition how do I get started and do things well not to worry when you install Visual Studio 2012 or you know in 2008 along with the framework you get the compact edition along with that even if you miss any update you can find simply online by Google and you can get it downloaded pretty easily it's nothing it's no biggie <coughs> right so if I want to add you know the compact edition in my visual studio so what I need to do first thing you need to go into the server explorer which is simply available in here I hope you can see the shortcut is control W and L which I don't I generally don't use <coughs> I'm sorry so I'm going to click on the data connection right click I'm going to say I'm going to add a new connection and now I'm going to choose change and you can see we are getting a lot of bunch of options this guy is a big daddy which we generally use right but over here I'm going to use you know the compact version 4.0 because I'm dealing with the SQL CE version I'm going to hit OK the moment I do that it is giving me an option that I can create a database over here right so let's create one I'm gonna call this database as whoopsie crazy and I'm gonna say let's create now it tells me it gives me an option like you know what is the name of your database I you want to make this thing as password protected right now I'm not interested so I'm gonna simply say okay because we know okay is cool and now the same prompt and we're going to say yes then you can see you know where this <coughs> database got created next thing is I'm going to test the connection to making sure everything is alright 
well everything is fine let's hit ok and you can see now we have two databases and within this I don't have actually anything so I am going to create something alright let's create a table I'm gonna call this thing as TBL crazy whatever crazy column name is going to be integer I'm sorry what are you going to be ID you are going to be an integer right okay primary key absolutely yes next is I'm going to make this guy as true because I don't want the headache you know to manage everything title envelope care and image is going to be I'm sorry I should have called this guy as IMG okay <coughs> and let's look at the image yes so you can see the table is up and running and we are ready to go so this table is as exactly same as this table there is no much difference this is very simple and can be achievable you know in very easy steps right so this is how you set up the you know the compact edition the other way is using the management studio one of the way I we saw this using the server explorer now let me hit the <coughs> the SQL 2008 management studio and it gets fired up and it's going to take a bit of time so we wait and it's up and do you want no so I'm going to say connect and now by default it goes like this you know the database engine and everything like that but I want to go with SQL Server Compact because I'm dealing with the Compact Edition now over here I get choices that where I want to connect so let's create a new database now the prompt is same what we show, saw in the Visual Studio and I would like to call this guy as super again no password protected nothing it's gonna give me a prompt I'm gonna ignore and let's connect so we can see that we have the same sort of the things what we saw you know this structure in the Visual Studio so I'm not gonna do anything next I just wanted to show you the same you know compact edition can be achievable by you know the management studio or via a Visual Studio Server Explorer now let's do some coding and like I said <coughs> the coding is not much of the difference it's a bit here and there but it's pretty simple and right now I'm actually running out of the time so I'm going to cover the whole code from the scratch from the basic in the next video which I have almost prepared so what are we going to do in the next video is we are going to fire up the visual studio we will go onto the visual C hash we're going to select windows forms we are going to select a windows form application and we have this title and we are going to say ok right so it will set up everything so I hope to see you in the next video if this video helps you anyways then guys please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends good night and take care